So starting a coding team in high school to teach students how to code and a robotics team in my school commenced a change in my community. Although some of my friends, peers, and even a teacher didn't quite agree with me. Coding team, who would join that? That's for nerds. Well, the, what bothered me the most was why I never listened to them, why I never gave in, and why I continued progressing this club and improving it. And that's when I realized what motivated me the most, which was through creating. I wanted to make something that would impact at least one person. And that's why I started the club in the first place. Well, I create something new at every hackathon I attend. Now, you're probably wondering, what are hackathons? Well, hackathons are 12, 24, even 36-hour events, tech events where groups of students would team up, a maximum of a team of four, and make something with technology that would impact their environment or their society or for the social good. And every hackathon I attend, I took a project after project, thinking of the idea before knowing how to get there first. Let's make a desktop app that suggests jokes for a conversation that two people are having through text. Now, I know that seems like a stupid idea for you, but it was an actual idea that my team and I thought of at my first hackathon, MIT Blueprint. We didn't know how we were going to get there first, but we had the idea. But we br brought it to life in 12 hours. And throughout that process, we learned how to use PySockets and implement it with our GUI using Tkinter. How about a desktop app that helps people with public speaking? Something that I needed the most. That's why I suggested it. And throughout that process, we didn't know how to make it. We had an idea, but later we brought it to life in 24 hours. And throughout that process, we learned Google's API, and how to convert speech to text, and how to use implement it with our Pi Audio to manipulate our voice data. And throughout this process, we learned how to use these certain skills to create this one big project. Now, when I was first introduced to computer science, like I was introduced in, at hackathons, I felt like a student at Hogwarts. I could make any, any idea come to life with technology. But the problem was, my students at, in my club, coding team, didn't really realize the power that they have. They, didn't really, they weren't aware of the magic that they could do and how much they could make with technology. But it was not until last summer did I understand how to make them aware of this. Last summer, I attended an amazing program called MIT Beerworks. What if you got the opportunity to program Amazon's Alexa, a drone, a race car, or even a 3D printer, and it was all for free? Well, I took that opportunity last summer. And what MIT Beaverworks is, is where students from around the world come to MIT and create projects from various fields of computer science in four weeks. And these were high school students. I personally was part of the UAV program, which stands for Unmanned Aerial Vehicle, or it's basically a drone. And my team, which was a group of five people, were tasked to program this drone to avoid obstacles as well as follow a line. Now, to do this in four weeks seems bizarre, but there was a motivation aspect to do everything, to learn everything that we learned. Because if you're going to build something, you have to learn how to do it in the first place, which we did. We had speedy lectures on computer vision, linear algebra, matrices, and even electric engineering. And some of these topics we had to learn all in one day, or in a few hours. And this is what separates high school from Beaverworks. In high school, you see a lot of students sitting in math class thinking, when are we going to use this? What, how is this used in real life? Well, that was not the case in Beaverworks. To be honest with you, I didn't know why derivatives were useful until last summer. In Beaverworks, we knew why we needed to learn computer vision to make sure our, op our drone avoids obstacles. We knew why we needed matrices to send commands to our drone to know where to go. We knew why we needed to find the slope of the line of a few lights to know where the drone has to follow. There was a why to everything we did. There were rough times at MIT where my team and I had to stay up till 12 AM fixing issues on the drone, but we didn't even get to st take a step back and look at how much we've learned so far from creating this one project. There, 
I had to attend this program using coming with two trains, and I had to walk in the scorching sun, or sometimes had to run in the pouring rain, but it was 100% worth it. And there, not even a single day did I ever think that I did not want to be here. And that's how high school should be for every student. Have project-based learning, where there's an end goal that they have to reach, and there are certain skills that they have to learn to get to that goal. That's the best way to test someone's knowledge, through projects, not through papers with, that ask questions, but through projects. And collaborating with other people lets you see their perspective and learn from others, and while you learn from them. And working with groups lets you see, oh, um, see how other teams succeed and how others don't. So what I did this year was implement what I learned last summer to my club. The first meeting, I asked my students, instead of having a laid out syllabus on Python where I'd lecture them on, I asked my students, what do they want to make? What projects are they interested in? So that they are more interested in making these projects throughout the year. And in our second meeting, we worked on something that's called pseudocoding. Now what pseudocoding is, is basically explaining something that's in code in English to someone who doesn't understand how to code. And so what we did was give each group of students one giant piece of paper and one marker. And they were asked to solve these problems in pseudocode. And what I saw was not coders that were sitting in the corner, hunched over a computer with a hoodie on, but coders that had mouths, that could talk to each other, that collaborated, that could communicate, that had a personality. So what I want for all of you to do tonight is I want you to all go home well, not now, but eventually go home and think about a project that you want to make, an answer you want to find. But don't think about how you're going to get there. Think of the idea first and then make it happen. Thank you.